let's work on uh, creating some components that we're going to import inside the Terragen 4 to create our animation scene. So right here, I will go and use the world machine. And we're not going directly in details how we create all of these nodes. If you're interested, I will recommend you to view our world machine tutorials where we're going to specific over these projects and other ones. Just overall, let's go very fast, see what we're connecting here and what we have at most important on our output so we can utilize this inside um, Terrigen. So overall, you can see right here, we have our basic um, prone, one prone character on what we design. So we have our river bed. We add some um, distortion to this, inverting, combining with additional noise for the rock. So we'll just add this as a rocks and applying erosion. As well, you can see right here, we have the water level showing. So just to be sure we have a nice river if we're going to use maybe not and um so the sub object that will be kind of fly along this riverbed so this is kind of like basic setup but for me when i'm exported i want to know a shape of the terrain also this dissolve how it's going okay we'll go let's go look right here okay and you can see right here we have it some of dissolve going on Okay, let me render very fast this one. Okay, so right here you can kind of see a little bit better those. And what I want to take this apply with the dissolve from erosion was going. So I want to take some of this texture also with the deposits and where it's happened. Um, okay, so we'll go back and right here we're connecting. If you notice on our erosion node, we have it output the high field. We have it our flow map, wear map and deposit map. The important things when we work with the Terragen, we can output this as the high field, just only gray and white color, black and white kind of. But what I recommend to you if you're using with Terragen, just use a Terragen export with precision. So in this case, we're not just getting um, map, we also will getting additional information on the size and the height. So it's a more accurate to this we can still resize after if we need it and you'll see this in a second but it will produce more accurate map so what are we doing for the high map we set a high field and we'll export a terragen type format okay and for other ones we'll just also import as a flow if we need it we can use terragen or you can use a tff as image and for this one you know just let's go as a We'll export both and we'll have it also as a TFF export. Okay, same right here. We can have it both and then we'll just use a TFF. So we can see what is a different will be between all of them. Um, also, when we're going to export, I want to be sure it's higher resolution. So we'll go set 4000 by 4000. If using World Machine, you need to have it pro version to have it higher resolution for this. Okay, and next when we're ready, we can go ahead and now start rendering. It will take a little bit time um, to pre-render, go all this node for this resolution. When it's done, we'll just continue our tutorial. Okay, so right here it's finished render. Let's click OK. And now we can go ahead and actually save all this. And you can notice when we open it says export all. So I'm going to click on And we have it, our all outputs is saved right now. So the next step, we can go inside the Terrigen and start importing those maps, see how they will work together.